Hey, AJ Mitchell, man. how, how you, doing? you doing? I'm doing great, how you doing? I'm doing good. All right. Welcome to Oklahoma City. Thanks for having me. Is this I your look, first time here? It is my first time. First time to Oklahoma or Oklahoma City? Or both? Both. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, both, both. It's I like it for a drive. It's, uh, yeah, weather's great today. It's not oh, too yeah, it's hot. Oh, perfect. Cannot complain. It feels great. I miss weather like this. Uh, where I'm, are you from? I'm, I'm from Illinois originally. Okay. And it kind of it kind of reminds me of home a little bit. Like the weather, it feels, yeah. Where do you live now? I live in Los Angeles now. So, Been there since what's, the, uh, what's the difference between living in Illinois and in LA? <laughs> I'm assuming it's drastically different. Definitely. I mean, LA definitely has better food, for sure. <laughs> and, um, I mean, the weather is just great. I mean, you can go up to, go snowboarding, you can go to the beach, you, you know, you get, got the desert, <laughs> you got everything, everything in LA. Favorite food? Favorite food? I love pizza. I love pizza. That, uh, I feel like I could eat pizza every day and never get sick of it. That's my life. Pineapple on the pizza? I can do pineapple on pizza. Okay. I, I don't normally do it, but if there is, you know, I, I'll still eat I'm not it. saying no to pizza if there's on it, but if there's a choice, I'm, I'm definitely going to say. I'll, I'll do pepperoni. There you go. That's Pepperoni's mine. Mm -hmm. So, um, so you're on the road right now, uh, getting ready to, uh, to go on tour as well. Your second yeah, hopefully tour. in February. Which is um, incredible yeah. and awesome. Uh, tell me, tell me about how everything started for you. Obviously, you've been in music for a bit, and you're only 17, right? Yeah. So yeah, learning so... how to drive. <laughs> I saw your tweet. So we we asked everyone uh, if uh, they had any questions for AJ as we uh -huh. drove around today, and, and you replied actually just before you got here today. You're like, I want to drive, and uh, yeah. so I'm like, all right, cool. You got your license, and AJ's like, no, no. I, he has, he, has a, he has a learner's permit, um, so uh, we may test him and see if he can park in a parking spot when it's, we're done. It's been a while since I drove, I'll be honest. How long's it been? A couple months. Oh, that's not bad. You it's can do it. It's not too bad. No, yeah, you can yeah. do it. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. I, I, so, I think I'm a good driver. No pressure. I think I'm a pretty good driver. I did get in one accident. But it made me a better driver. It made me a better driver because I'm, I'm more cautious now. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So, 17, learner's permit. I'm a good driver. I've had one accident already, <laughs> but it, but I'm a good driver. It made me a better driver. That accident made okay. me a better driver. So what what happened? So I was driving down this street and it was raining outside, and there's so there's three cars. Well, me being the third car, okay. car in front of me and a car in front of that person. Okay. The car, the first car, didn't turn the blinker on, so they slammed on the brakes and like turned real quick. Okay. So the car in front of me slammed on the brakes. I slammed on my brakes, but I hydroplaned, and I did, well I was also kind of like right behind him, okay. which I should have gave him my space, which which uh, I learned now <laughs> to give people their space because you never know. So hydroplane, boom, hit the car in front of me, and yeah. All right, so let's talk about the music. You got a new single, yeah. new song. It's called Girls. That's right. Um, and uh, I actually got the chance to, to see it perform it in uh, New York City at iHeartRadio oh, yeah. there, and nice. uh, it was awesome. Thanks, man. Uh, so tell me about the song, and you got a music video for it now, yeah, too. Yeah, the music video. Uh, so I wrote that song with... Um, my friend Romans and the song is kind of like what's talking about what's going on in my life which is trying to stay focused on my music career sometimes and I get girls. distracted <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah for the music video um we wanted to make it look like a Wes Anderson film so it's kind okay. of if you if you've seen it, it kind of you can tell like especially the the colors the vibrant colors that it has um you can really tell Wes Anderson but we wanted to make the music video about the girls you know make okay. the girls the stars of the music video which um, and also, what I like in a girl, which is confidence and independence, and I think they really show that. These people. Let's go back. Okay. Let's go all the way back to the beginning for Let's AJ Mitchell. Uh, <laughs> where did everything get started for you? How did you get into music? My dad. So my dad was learning how to play the piano. Okay. Uh, and he was learning how to write songs when I was younger, and I kind of saw that and it inspired me to do it myself. So when I was four, hopped on the piano and started just messing around, and. When, when I was six years old, I wrote my first song. And, six. Yeah, and then after that, I just I just kept writing because I loved it. I just loved writing and creating music. Six years old. I I, I was probably <laughs> eating glue at school at that point. <laughs> eating so, glue. And you're uh you're, you're already writing music. So what was what was the song about that you wrote? Do you remember <laughs> any of it? I do actually. It was about two birds falling out of a tree. One fell off and broke its knee. So it was like a legit <laughs> like there was some thought like I, it wasn't legit. like. See, if I would have wrote a song at six, or if I think of anyone writing a song at six, I'm like, 
all right, I've got uh, I've got my toys in my room. Like, <laughs> and, like one's red, one's blue. Like, yeah. like it'd be it'd be the most like yours. It was for six years old. That's kind of a deep song and a deep like lyric. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. So then, you started writing, um, and you write your stuff now too. Yeah, I write my stuff okay. now. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. Um, so singer songwriter, is there anything? Are you producing any of your own stuff? Have you dabbled Actually, in that yet? Actually, lately I haven't. I've been getting into um, uh, Logic right now, and I've been trying to like produce my own music right now. Yeah, just kind of learning by myself. It's been cool. awesome. Yeah. And Logic, by the way, not Arctic, Artist Logic. Oh yeah, it's yeah. The program. Oh, yeah it's, uh, People are probably oh, yeah. thinking Logic. Yeah, they're like Logic. So I've been into I'll his music. Yeah, there. So where uh, where do you see yourself in in ten years? Where do you want to be? Ten years. Hopefully. Outside of a being a mega star, I'm, assur- I'm assuming is part of that, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I just, I just want to travel the world, you know, explore, and, and I th- just want to get my music out there. So hopefully by then, you know, my music's out there. People know who I am. People are seeing my music because that's just that's that's the coolest thing for me. It's like you know, hearing other people singing my songs that I wrote. It's, it's a so you just did your first TV appearance? Yeah. Performed on TV for the first yeah, time, which is first time. Uh, it, it, was that nerve-wracking? You did the Definitely. T- Today show. Yeah. So is it is it weird like cuz it's it's kind of like a concert. You're used to performing in front of people, but there's there's like no audience. It's yeah, like this a time it's couple just camera guys in and your face. yeah. So and they're how not like that? tiny. They're like the huge cameras. So I don't know why. Like it even freaks me out even more cuz they're like <laughs> professional cameras. I'm like, oh. <laughs> So what was the, what was that like? It was super cool, actually. Um, so we got there like 3 a.m. <laughs> at the Today Show, which is like really, really early for any pretty, artist, because that's normally when you're going to bed, right? Yeah. 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 No, so we got got there really early, did sound check, and then the worst part was is we had to wait there for like six hours. So I was just sitting there, I'm like, it's coming. <laughs> so I was even more nervous because I had to like wait there until until I went on. But like once I got on the stage and I sang, I got the, all the nerves went away. So you've got a massive Instagram following, over a million there. Yeah. Uh, that's just, that's that's crazy. Yeah, it's insane, social media. I, I started posting videos, um, just like covers and music that I was writing when I was 13. Okay. And I just see like what my friends would think, how they, how they would react. And they're like, bro, like keep posting more, you're good. So I kept posting and about a year went by and I got a, this shout out from this person that I, uh, I didn't even know who they were. They had a million followers. It was called like Tuesday Mayhoders Chicos, <laughs> the page. And I woke up with 15,000 followers. So the day before, I was at 1,000. And then wow. I woke up with 15. Yeah, was That's like, crazy. Yeah, it was the best day of my life. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. And then a couple months went by. I just kept getting more followers. Kept posting more videos. I was at 80,000. That's when my manager reached out. And that's when I moved to Los Angeles. I just like, kept, hey. kept building that fan base. That's awesome. Yeah. It's crazy how it works. Uh, so what's, what's it like, um, uh, you know, going around the country now? And uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming you know. Obviously, your your song "Girls" is out, mm-hmm. um, and you you know it's been out long enough now. Where I'm assuming at this point you've heard it on the radio. I, I've I've heard it like twice. Okay. So twice what now. was it? What was it like? First time you heard it on the radio. What was, was that feeling like? It was. And where were you? It was you? crazy. I, well, the first time it was. I think it was. Uh, I can't remember the station. I know it was iHeart, and they they played it. But it was I, I had to do it on the phone because we weren't in a car. Okay. So it was like uh, I had to play it off my phone. So that was really cool. I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then the second time I was in Miami, and they, like we turned to the station, I had no idea, and they were like secretly filming me because they, <laughs> they, they they knew they knew, but I didn't know. And they're like, oh, and this new single is called Girls, and then like it played, and I was like, wait, what? I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Like this is insane. Yeah. And it was like one, one of the best days, yeah, for me. That's awesome. Hear my song on the radio. It's so cool seeing, you know, when I love those videos because <clears throat> it's, uh, you know, you guys work so hard at, at, at the music for so long. And then, yeah. you know, it, to see the joy that comes out of an artist when, when it plays for the first time and it, like you can, you can see it, you know, some get emotional, some just yeah. freak out and lose it and are really excited. Yeah. Uh, were you the freak out, lose it person or were you like, were you trying not to burst out into tears of like you know joy? I was, it was kind of like a mixture of both. Like I freaked out and like I got I I, almost, I, I, I teared up a little bit, but I was like you know I got to keep my cool right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, There's been yeah. time. I, I get that. You'd be like, nope, nope, keep that tear like, in. Nope, don't nope, let that out. Don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so it's crazy. You're 17. You know, most 17 year olds right now they're in, they're in high school. You know, thinking about college, and you're off chasing, you know, your dream and yeah. and not being in school. Is there? Is it hard for you to, to remain a teenager or do you feel like you're growing up quickly because you're surrounded by obviously so many other mature people? Yeah, um, I definitely feel like I've, I've you know, grown up a lot quicker just being around you know, so many older people and you know, not being in Illinois in school and kind of like living life now. Right. You know? <clears throat> it's, it, it, it's, definitely been, it's definitely been cool and I, I, I feel like I have lived a childhood so, so when you were when you were in school, let's talk about the differences. So when you were in school before the music thing and before Instagram blew up and all that kind of stuff, uh, what kind of a kid was AJ Mitchell? Uh, yeah, I was. I got in trouble a lot. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> because I, I never. I, no one hated school more than I did. I was I was good in school, but no one really. I, I hated school more than everybody, so okay. I was always a class clown in this class. I, I, got, always, I got in trouble. A lot. I was always trying to be the funny kid. Yeah. I got in trouble, but I also sucked up a lot to try to make up for it. Yeah. So like, teachers liked me, but didn't like me, and that's dude, same same here. I got in school <laughs> suspension one point. I remember that. Like, I had to sit in the office and do my work for like a week because I can't remember, I refused to do something like, I don't know how strict your teachers were, but we had like binder checks where uh -huh. like you had a binder with all your stuff in it and right. my math teacher was just like in middle school was like if your binder check happened and she flipped it up and opened, like if anything fell out, you got in trouble. What? And like one of my dividers like was ripping and fell out and I just hadn't got new ones yet, yeah. you know, because my mom didn't get them or whatever, I don't right. know. And it fell out and like I got in trouble and I had to like I can't remember what happened if your binder failed Wait, to check I get, but why, I got why would you get in trouble for that right so that I got sense. I was just like nope I'm gonna be defiant yeah <laughs> and I'm gonna become a four-year-old again and I was like no and I didn't I think I was supposed to stay after class and I didn't and I left and then I got in an argument and then by that point I was already like I put my foot down yeah. and I was like nope and I was like Four feet high, like <laughs> sounded like a girl. Like yeah, yeah, I was oh, the most yeah. non-threatening no, kid ever at that age, yeah. and um, and the principal came up and I was like, no, 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 because at this point everyone's watching, and I'm like, well, I gotta win this. Yeah, yeah I already put my I, foot down. Yeah, like, I put my foot down. I can't look like the kid that backed off and didn't yeah, win. And of course, no. I won. I think in front of everyone, but I lost because I ended up in like in school suspension right. for a week. So, um, <laughs> those are the worst. So, uh. Uh, when 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 about how old were you when the Instagram thing happened? I was thirteen when okay. I started posting, and then fourteen when I uh, got that shout out. I started getting followers. So you've been at it a few years now. Yeah. So what's it like? You know, you're single, it's called girls. So uh -huh. we've we've got to talk about it. So and you're seventeen. Uh -huh. So seventeen year olds. I remember when I was seventeen, um, and. Uh, my daughter is 17, which is terrifying, by the way, because um, I don't want her meeting anyone like me when I was 17 at all. Um, so I, I'm assuming, you know, like dating is like, you know, it's an it's a thing, and, and you're at that point in your life, but you're also doing this music thing. How hard it is? How hard is it for you to to try to live that teenage lifestyle still and, yeah. and date and and obviously you're faced with like a new dilemma, not only just trying to find the time to date, but finding someone that doesn't want to just date AJ because he can sing and yeah, write me a song like when he comes over. Dating, and, right. I feel like if I was dating, I would want them to, you know, have their own thing that they're doing as well. So, it's, you know, like, it's, for me, I like confidence and independence and independence as in, like, they have their own thing and, like, I have my own thing. Okay. Like, you know, we both are busy. Um, but <clears throat> I, I, right now, I'm, I'm just trying to stay focused on my music, so I've, I've kind of put the Good. dating dating aside, to be honest. That's the official answer. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, every artist has that, like, one or two they, they really want to do. And, you know, some may be yeah. DJs or producers. Some may be, you know, other artists, you know, uh, with think, a feature on the song. What, uh, who's who's kind of on your, like, bucket list I want to do a collab with? I think Ariana Grande. I think okay. that'd be a cool, cool little duo. Because her voice is, like, insane. Right. And um, I think John Bellion would be cool. Cool collab, too. Great producer, great songwriter. Love, always love Bruno Mars. I mean, there's something. Yeah, Bruno would be. Yeah. 
I think everyone would like to work with her. <laughs> and Ariana is just, I mean, it's just insane the noises that girl can make. Oh, yeah. So, um, and, you know, you know, maybe you could drive a wedge in between Pete Davidson. Yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> <See> ya. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, <laughs> seven, 17, you got your learner's permit. Uh, we've never done this during Stars and Cars before, but I think we're going to, we're going to try it. Um, oh, it's been a couple months since you drove, right? It's been a couple months, but I think I think I, I, I can manage. All right, so uh, no pressure, um, but my friends over at West Point, Chrysler Jeep Dodge, they hooked us up with this. Uh, it's brand new Dodge Durango. Um, looks awesome. It has no dents, no scratches, nothing on it. Um, no yeah, pressure, nice cool. but we're going to see if we can navigate this parking lot. So... Um, are you up for it? I'm up for it. All right, and then we're gonna try to we're gonna try to park it in, in between a couple spots. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, look, and there's an obstacle. There's like some glass over there, so don't run that over either. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I see. So, it. you ready? I'm ready. You want to try to do it? Let's do this. All right. I, I have confidence in you. I mean, Thank you're 17. You. I appreciate if, it. If 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 we can't manage this parking lot, the cameras are kind of not facing out right now. But um, this parking lot is about as empty as the parking lot could be, <laughs> other than some poles and a fire hydrant. There's not too many obstacles. It doesn't look too scary. If so, I hit something, then I'm, I'm a really bad driver. All right. All right. Let's try let's this. Do this. Wish me luck. All right. All right. Should I put my seatbelt on? Is that the first one? Yeah, that's probably good. Ah, all right. We're going to redeem yourself from the accident we're gonna we're gonna see if we can pull this off all right so let's uh let's 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 pretend the aisles are roads so don't drive over the spots let's see if we can kind of weave in and out of the okay. the parking lot let's see okay. all right. this is much easier than when you're driving with your own kids by the way really, so, <laughs> really? Yeah, i'm doing good so far all right, all right. Look at that. Um, all right, let's turn left here. All right. Oh, I didn't put my blinker on. Ah, oh, you're in a parking lot. It's okay. <laughs> I won't judge you. Oh, Look, thank you're doing you. good. Thank you. All right. Um, all right, let's go. We'll go around. All right. You've got this. I think you've driven before. I've driven before. I know cars are the issue, so thankfully we're not near any of them. We're getting near some parked ones yeah. right now, but that's it. All right. Let's go around down there. Um, Alright, let's see. How good are you at parking? I, th um, I think I'm I, I think I'm was a semi-confident. I think I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm going to say I'm good. Alright, let's go up to where we can kind of see spots better. Okay. Let's uh, pick any of these ones up here on the left. Like right to the left of us right now, and let's see how well you can park in them. Let's see. Uh, look at that. Dude, AJ Mitch, hang on. Let's verify. That is a pretty solid parking job, sir. You hey. got it like right between the lines. So uh, you passed your uh, your driving test. I passed the test? Yeah, you passed. Do I get the license? Uh, sure. All right. All right. I guess I can need to put it in park. <laughs> All I've right, done that once where I got out the car and it was in dry still, so. Yeah, I've learned my lessons. Uh, and then you just open. In that case, you just open up the door, and then it's the in my feelings challenge. You just kind of play it off. Yeah, like, exactly. Totally meant to do that. <laughs> That's what I meant to All do. Right. So well, AJ Mitchell, thanks for awesome, going for man. a ride. Congratulations on passing your um, driving test, which, by the way, is probably the easiest driving yeah, test ever. Yeah, that was pretty easy. <laughs> uh, no parallel parking, nothing involved. Yeah, that was so, pretty um, easy. I can't wait to see the tour. Thanks, man. And. Um, you know, obviously seeing what's what's coming after girls. Yeah. Excited for it. Thanks man. Thanks good for, luck thanks on for having good me. luck on everything. And thanks for dropping me off. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>